Okay, so to begin this math cast, I have chosen to work on the kindergarten outcome NK.3. Relate a numeral 0 to 10 to its respective quantity. You can do this by constructing or drawing a set of objects corresponding to a given numeral, identifying the number of objects in the set, holding up the appropriate number of fingers for a given numeral, and matching numerals with pictorial representations. So I decided since it is close to St. Patrick's Day that we could incorporate this into that. So I have chosen to do a picture graph. We have a circle here filled with different Lucky Charms um, symbols. And then over here, the actual graph. So to begin, we would have the students draw out on the graph how many rainbows they see. So they would begin by going, like this, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, and there's five. So after we get them to do the first line, we'll count them all together. So go one, two, three, four, and five. And since in the indicators for this outcome, it says you can hold up the appropriate number of fingers for the given numeral, we can also do this afterwards. We can go, show me your fingers and count with me. So one, two, three, four, five rainbows, okay? So then we go to the next symbol. So we go to the clover hats. So we say, okay, there's one, and two. So again, we'll do the same thing. We'll go around going one, two, one, two. Now we go to the hearts. So how many hearts do we have? We have three. So we'll draw one, two, three. Number them off so we can see the actual numeral. And then do it with your fingers again. One, two, and three. So this is pretty easy, but for we can also add in another step. So we can work on SSK.2, sorting 3D objects using a single attribute for this lesson also. So for sorting the objects, I thought we could bring in the actual Lucky Charms. These are all of the different kinds together, and the children will have to sort out their rainbows, clovers, and hearts. So this works on their sorting skills also, as well as First, we looked at the 2D objects, this visual representation, and now we'll be looking at the 3D objects as a concrete object representation. So they will begin by going, okay, so we have all the rainbows together. Take all the rainbows out. Take all the clover hats out. And take all of the hearts out so we can sort them, so we can see them better. Okay, so now we actually have to put the concrete charms onto our picture graph. So we'll go one rainbow, two rainbow, three rainbow, four rainbow, five rainbow. Then we can count them as a class again. And we go clover hat one, clover hat two, and then the hearts. So one heart, two heart, and three hearts. Okay, so this activity was pretty good because we got two, those two outcomes in one. And of course we had the kids um, construct or draw a set of objects corresponding to a given numeral, so that one, two, three, four, five that they drew out. And then also putting these rainbows on the actual picture. They got to see the visual. Um, they also got to do their fingers representations like one, two, three, four, five that help them see another way that you can count them. And of course we matched numerals with pictorial representations with, which was the main point of this activity. This is a very good activity because I could see myself really um, being able to use it with older kids as well. So instead of having a picture graph, I could do a bar graph in grade two. So It'll be a little bit harder, but it's still the same concept. They will have their bar graph, 
we will um, label the sides together, label the numbers together, and then they'll be able to shade in five um, rainbows, two hats, and three hearts. So you could really differentiate with this assignment. It's really easy to do. Um, so if you wanted to differentiate, you could have the students only draw the rainbows, maybe if that's good enough, or you can have um, the sorting done only, depends what they're capable of. And maybe if that's too hard, you can just have the kids tell you how many rainbows are. So you could tell them, okay, so can you tell me how many rainbows there are here? And they could say one, two, three, four, five. That's just as good when you're differentiating because um, each kid works at their own level. So this is a really good activity for that. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.